Guys, we're so close to 100 subscribers. I cannot thank everyone who has joined the channel enough for this sort of thing. I've been stuck at 79 subscribers for I would say about like a month or two. It was go it was going up and I appreciate all like the progression. But this Elva playthrough really helped me out and it could have not been what it is now without you guys. So thank you so much. And if you do enjoy the content, please subscribe since we're super close to 100. And I might have, and I might have started a special video for that moment, so stay tuned. Anyways, on to the video. Hey guys, Strand Games here, and welcome back to Ilver Part 6. Now, last episode, we went around the entire map looking for the remaining key cards for the doors in the dead zone. Then we re-explored the dead zone for a lot, looking for getting these new guns, these new magazines and stuff. And then, as our last thing to do in that episode, we fought, we completed the quest and find the Horde Beacon in Ghost Valley, but unfortunately we didn't get the footage of the, Horde, of, of the first Horde Beacon, so we decided to spawn one, one in and recreate the fight because I must say it was insane how many acid spares they were. But I just want to start the episode off by just talking to Rain Rai and, and accepting our prize. Nice, summer one completed. Now summer quest two, complete two Horde Beacons in Ghost Valley. As you see right here, been a little bit busy off camera. I didn't get all that rubber and tape from actually grinding. It was from the this dude over here. We have the horde beacon right here. I farmed them off camera so we didn't, you know, have to go through making components, getting more rubber, getting getting more graphics cards. Like it's just a lot of work. So luckily, so luckily we have them here. We could just instantly start by. We could just instantly start doing the horde beacons. But we're not gonna. But we're not gonna do them because I imagine that might be a little bit boring for everyone to watch. So we might look at some other quests. All right, so that is the final quest of the whole thing. So then we have the Huntsman quest. It says right here, kill 150 zombies in dorms or train station. And our rewards are 200 experience and a ruby tablet. So basically this kind of concludes our nearing end game here since that was the final quest. We could probably start this episode by doing the kill these, by doing this, this Huntsman 2 quest. So this might take a bit, so. I will see you when I'm done with that. Um, excuse me? What is this? I, why am I naked? Why is all my- oh my goodness. What is this? What is this? Everyone, I have some bad news. So, unfortunately, the the save for the world that we're playing on corrupted, I guess. As shown in like the la in like the last moments before, when it was all barren and stuff. It's frustrating because we worked on this world so much and now just to see it all go away, so that's a bu it's a true bummer. So I'll see you guys later when I actually get everything ready. Alright guys, I had to skip a little ahead a bit and stuff to complete the quest where we at, uh, to where we're at right now. But we're finally on the worthy quest. Complete every single quest. So that includes the Huntsman one, which we already did. Huntsman 2, we already did. Hunts, uh, or Huntsman 2, we didn't do yet. Huntsman 3, we didn't do that either. Huntsman Summoner, we already did that, but since, you know, the world crashed, we lost our progress, so we're just going to speed things up a little bit. Alright, we're finally done with that, with the Huntsman 2 quest, so let's accept our reward. Kill 150 zombies in the dorms or train station. Honestly, guys, I'm really sorry that the save crashed. Like, I don't know what happened. I exited, I exited, tried to find some, like, music for, like, the background of this video. And then when I went back in, it was just that white, barren, like, place. And I just didn't know what to do. And I also lost everything in my inventory, so everything was bugged. Alright, so let's check this out. Kill 250 zombies in the town, prison, or dead zone. Alright, so this is going to take a lot of... So, we'll accept it. I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. All right, we have finished our Huntsman. We finally finished all the Huntsman quests, except our golden gun. Oh, we can trade with this guy now. He's selling the go the golden uh, Mosca for seven K and Yep, it's a pretty nice looking gun. And since we got one, let's uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. Really nice looking. Summoner to successfully complete two horde beacons in Ghost Valley. Except also while just randomly spawning items, I managed to get the zombie the mega zombie shirt, the wait, wait, where is it? The mega zombie helmet and the mega zombie pants. So unattainable, more like obtainable. 
Alright guys, we managed to finally complete Summoner Quest Part 2. Accept our reward. Now let's see how many Horde Beacons we have to do in Ghost Valley now. We have to do three Horde Beacons. For that, we will get a two Ruby Tablets and a Golden Heat Wave. So we'll accept that. And we're almost done. We're so close to being done. We'll also accept this Worthy Quest, which completes all of the quests. And we need to just complete Worthy, or just can need, we need to complete Summoner 1. Or the summer to three one. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. I'm sorry about the map crashing. I just don't know what happened. It was such a bummer, man. But we're still gonna finish the quest regardless. I'm not gonna leave like this. I'm not gonna leave this map until that tower goes kaboom. Anyways, thank you for watching and bye.